Hello everyone. Before the episode starts today, I would like to mention that we discuss a book in this video called Rebirth. It's Jasmine's new book, and at the time of recording it wasn't yet out, but now it's out, and you can DM her on Instagram and buy one yourself if you'd like. Now you can watch the episode, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. I'm here with Jasmine. What the fuck are you doing, Jasmine? I'm drawing the smiley face. Oh my god. Well, that's fucking lame. I think lame. it looks good. I think it's great. It does look cool. It actually does look cool. I'm sorry. What? 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 I don't know if you can see it on there. Uh, no. No. It's <laughs> shit. It's shit. And also, pe and some people aren't even watching this. They're just listening. So why would you even bother drawing something? Well, I'm hoping that people can use their <sighs> imagination, like when they read a book. Oh, shit. That reminds me. I have some questions like like words like in a book okay like how words are in a book i can read so i think we'll be okay well i was going to read them i was okay. going to read them you're going to help me out so the reason that you bring up books well that, well that reminds me of is my questions on my phone because books and phones can have words i have a question here uh old people stories okay so i work in a coffee shop um and we get lots of different people and characters. So we mainly have um, old conservative elderly people. Fucking old people. And they are, <sighs> I mean, they're okay until they, they come out with the lines like, we'll give them sugar. And they'll be like, no, thanks. I'm sweet enough. And that's, Ew. <laughs> you know what? It's funny the first five times, but when you hear it 500 times a day, it's just not funny anymore. Do you tell them? Do you fucking tell them? Like, you just shut the fuck up. Just shut up. I don't really want to lose my job, so no. Oh, shit. But sometimes it's like, I've heard that ten times today. Or if I had a pound for every time I heard it, I would be rich. Do, do you get a pound every time you hear it? I don't know. I don't, but maybe someone other does. people do. I feel like someone does. That's Probably the, the government. Yeah, that's the issue with being like a uh, work... Because you, you're, uh, you're a worker there, but probably the owner... Probably gets a pound for every time, probably. I mean, he's never mentioned it, but would you mention it if he did? Probably not. No. You keep it a secret. So what is the address and location of your coffee shop? We can get to the bottom. <laughs> I'm like a journalist. Okay, so it's called... Um, oh, shit, you're actually revealing it. Oh, my God. Well, it's not a secret. We want people to come in. Oh, sh customers. okay, okay, yeah. It's not... Oh my God. <laughs> it's called um, Happy <laughs> Mondays, and it's uh, Rushton High Street in Northamptonshire. It's pretty good. We've just won an award. Whoa! Yeah, a delivery award, and um, my boss got to meet Rylan. Oh my god! Wait, yeah. R R Rylan the we know? Um, like the really orange guy with white teeth. The if you R saw a photo of him, y what from our school? No, 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 not Rylan Hoobler. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Um, Rylan, he was like on X Factor. Oh shit! Okay, yeah, okay, I know who you're talking about. He was in Cheryl Cole's house, and then I think he like got in, and then he cried. Right. With happiness. Well, well, but so he wasn't sad. No, no, no. He's just very dramatic. Oh, just like the Rylan we know. When when <laughs> when I saw when I saw Rylan at uh, school and everyone was teasing him that he everyone was teasing him saying, "Oh, good job on X Factor last night," you know, because his name's Rylan. And uh, I asked. I him, don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a long time ago. When it, like 2014, 2013. Oh jeez. And I just told him like, "Hey." Dude, are you actually on X Factor? I, th I thought he was an X Factor. I was like, dude, are you on X Factor? He was like, oh, shut the fuck up. And I was like, what the fuck? That's my introduction to You know Ryland. what? I completely forgot about our Rylan from school until um, maybe like a week ago. I found him on Instagram. Oh, yeah. And then he's dating Catherine Quartil. Who is also from the from our, our old school. school. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm not going to lie. I forgot about everyone from that school until today. <laughs> yeah. Because we're like <laughs> talking about them. And like I'm in school halfway through year 10. So I sort of remember the new school, but not the old school. So it's good to like reminisce, you know. I'm the other way around. Names, really. I I moved school in year nine, and I I I remember. I'm, I'll say the name. We went to the Abbey, right? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We went to Abbey College. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I I remember all of that. I remember all of that. I remember the crazy fucking teachers. Oh, it was crazy. Do you remember Miss M, the maths teacher? I don't think I had her. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? No. Oh, okay. Mr. G, Mr. G, history. Goronsky. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> do you remember the rumor that he was allergic to deodorant? Oh no. What did you do? Because he was my form teacher. Oh shit. Yeah. Did he tell you to get out of his way? No, he liked me. Oh. He gave me a seven A on a history um 
thing once because we like I think it was about Hitler and then <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome I made a cake and then I put loads of Lego figures in there like stuck Lego figures into the cake and they was holding little signs about Nazi Germany oh my god and I got like that's the highest mark I've ever got in anything that is awesome and all I did was make a cake and then I think I just bribed him and then he was like thanks that's what I did a I did that exact I had that exact assignment I did a Minecraft I did a Minecraft uh, world I of played. course you did do, do you remember it no I, oh my god you did everything to do in Minecraft at school you loved it that was me and Kieran all the way Minecraft we we fucking I, okay so me and Kieran collabed on uh <laughs> we did a we did a YouTube like Minecraft project I think this is for um I feel like I've F? probably seen this oh for history I did one I've done two I done one for history and I did uh. Do you remember? Okay, I'm just going to say... Geography, Miss Ferreira. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least you're the one saying these no, names. No, no, no. Wait, am I going to get in trouble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get in trouble with this school. You're going oh to have to get God. her attention. Do you remember? She she told me once that she had a micro pig as a pet. <laughs> what the fuck? She, I don't think she told me that. She told me this. And then also she could touch type. You know when you can type without looking? She was so good at that. That's cool. But uh, what, what, a micro pig? What the... What? I like think a little pot belly pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like the tiny micro pigs. George Clooney had one of those. Yeah, like most celebrities had them. I don't know why. There was like a big trend around micro pigs. And then, I don't know if I'm making this one up, but she definitely had a pig. And I think she was sold it as a micro pig, but really it was a massive pig and it grew up to be big. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's such sure. a good prank. She definitely had a pig though. She had a, a pet, pig. And oh she loved God. it. I can't remember its name. Did she have, did she keep it indoors all the time? Or did she have to like get a I farm? I don't know if she had it indoors or not. I didn't ask any questions. I just accepted it. Yeah. I mean, the fact that she had a pig was pretty insane. I I remember her being so fucking strict and. Oh, she was a bitch. <laughs> yeah, she was horrible. <laughs> and like, I would. I remember I said half of a swear word, and she looked at me and said, "What are you saying?" And I said, "Oh, I said I said far." And she said, oh, you said it again. And I was like, no, no, but I'm just saying half of it. And then I got like a fucking, I think she gave me a lunchtime and an off school in the same day for oh that. Oh, gosh, she was such a bitch. And then I, I did my Minecraft project with Kieran. Um, old viewers would not, would uh, maybe remember this. We did, uh, we, we did like, um, it was on Izmit Earthquake or something. There was some earthquake in geography. And I was, do- I was doing Borat like, oh, Izmit Earthquake, blah, blah, blah. And then she was, I was like, oh, my God, she's going to go nuts, Kieran, because there's no way she's going to like Borat. And afterwards, she was like, "Wow, you you guys like Borat too?" I was like, "What? <laughs> you like you like the movie where the uh you know the the naked guy tackles the fat guy and stuff?" And she's like, "Yeah, I love it." She was like so weird because she was so strict, but like yeah, she had those moments. Stuff, yeah, <laughs> but also like if I was to see any of our teachers in um in like just on the path or like walk by me, I probably wouldn't recognize them. I feel like I've, yeah, I feel like I've multiple times. There might times. be a few. Like, I've recognised Mr. Gronsky, <laughs> and I've recognised maybe some, like, other teachers. How many teachers' names are we? Uh, let's just say all of them. Miss Blood. But <laughs> you know what? I remember Miss <laughs> Blood, because she was Erin's mum. Who's that? Erin Aaron Blood. Erin Blood. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Huh. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't think she... Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of people. <laughs> there's a lot of people at school who didn't like me. Why didn't people like you? What the fuck? What do you do? I don't know. Hey, you got a book. I was kind of weird, to be fair, at school. Why? Why? Why the? F- I don't remember. I think how weird I was at school. I probably had an inability to recognize. You probably weirdness. didn't think I was weird, but mm. I feel. Like, do you want me to hold it while you? So we've got bubble tea. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds really weird. Do you want me to hold it? <laughs> yeah. Can we? Oh my god. How are we? How are we gonna do this? Because right, if I hold it and then you just put where the straw do I want it to it? spill? You know, where would it be okay? Sp- well, maybe in the. B- <laughs> Look, I'll hold it and you just. It's gonna go everywhere. It. No, it's not. Just put it over there. Go. You're really? To do it once. How full is it? I've got. Do you want me to puncture it? Yeah. Well, no. Wait. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> no, what the fuck, Jasmine? This is gonna go everywhere. No, you just do it once. Can like you shake that. it first? I don't know. You just like do that. Is it gonna go everywhere? No, it'll be fine. I promise. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> but like, well, just hold it. There you go. <laughs> oh, See, shit. I told you it's fine. Can I do that to you? Wait, I'm going to get it everywhere. I'll do that to yours. I don't really trust you. It's my car. It'll go everywhere. It's fine. Okay. Is that really... You, you just did that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, just don't hesitate. But what if I hesitate and then... Uh, and then? Okay. Well, you already spilled a gherkin on you earlier. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That was, just fu- that was just a bit silly, though, right? That wasn't that... Are you struggling with the straw? No, 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 no. 
You look like you're struggling with the straw. No, 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 no. I was gonna use. Yeah, okay, yeah, right. right. Really, I just yeah. do that. Go, go, go. There you go. Oh my See, god! Bam, done. Shit. Bubble tea. I've never had this specific one. Mm. Oh my god. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, really good. Oh. Last time I I remember in Norwich with I with Ella, she used to have these like. I don't know if she used to have these a lot, but I remember whenever we'd meet up, we'd always have one. That's like the only times I'd have bubble teas if, if I was in Norwich. I used mm. to have it in Leicester quite a lot, but well, I had it once in Leicester and I liked it, but I just never really. It's good, but you know. Which ones? Which one's your favourite? I don't have a favourite. This is my favorite. Oh, this kind is my favorite. Like the uh, the squishy pools. This is the second bubble tea I've had, so I can't compare. Really? And is, was it like that? Yeah, I think so. Oh, because Ella likes the ones where they like um, they're like balloons. They 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 like pop. They're like um, and they pop and they've they've got different liquid in them. Yeah, it's weird. They're good. They're good, but these ones are definitely better. IMO. Mm. Whatever. Mine's uh, mine's this one, and I have mm-hmm. gades. It's when you uh, when you're gay and you get AIDS. Okay. You got book. I have got a book. I've got two books. What? One's out. One's not out just yet. Almost. When will we be out? When my printing company pull their fingers out of their asses oh and God. sort it. Well, hopefully, do they wash their hands before? Ah. Um, I don't know. Maybe I need to chase that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I'll 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 help out with the cleaning. I like I like poo feces. Um. You know what? I'm not that keen. Really? Yeah. You bought the that was that was called a dirty. It was called a dirty uh, shit. What was it called? It was called a shitty, a <laughs> shitty tea. Or something? Dirty, dirty tea. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Jesus dirty Christ. tea. Christ. But you know what? So you know a chai latte. I love chai latte. Okay, so a dirty chai is a chai latte with coffee in. Oh. So I was really hoping this would have coffee in it. Oh, yeah, but it's not. It's just a uh, brown sugar. Yes, yeah. brown sugar syrup, which I like. It's all good. It's honestly, I'm good with any- anything coffee, sugar. It's all the same to me, to be honest. You survival for coffee though. Yeah, I literally have coffee more than food. Where's Where's my phone? I'm panicking. You know, I uh, okay, okay, I got okay. A, right, let's ask more questions. Well, yeah, I got, I got, I got a whole fucking list of them here. Oh, shit. <sighs> we uh, w- a real life war or video game war? Video game war. What? Hold up. You're you're answering this like you've answered it before. Well, I just I'm I'm quick. I make Holy my mind shit. up quickly. Holy I'm great to with you. Um, I would say that because. I won't die. To be fair, to be clear, you've never watched, listened to this show before ever, and you came in just like that, like you you knew. Well, I don't want to die. Okay, but isn't it more cool, like when you're killing real people, you have more. It's more like guttural, like oh fuck, I'm, you know, it's like I'm a not, give and take kind of thing. Mm, yeah, probably, but I would probably just get shot really quickly. Right. Okay. So. I probably would too. I, I've I always... used an air rifle. Oh shit! I'm pretty good with air rifles. My God, have you killed anything? No, I've only used it on targets, okay. not actual people, <laughs> not people, <laughs> not people targets. But, You're not um, an assassin. There was like, my friend's got an air rifle. We went to a rifle range and stuff, and there's like a big circle, and it's got different targets on e- on all around the circle, and then you hit it, and then it spins. Oh, that's cool. And that was really fun. Goes, ding, 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 ding. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty good at it. That's cool. But I feel like in real life, I would be so shit. And I'd probably panic. That's the thing. You're going to be conditioned. They they turn you into a machine, right? They turn you into someone else. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. If I wanted to be like that, I would probably still work at Costa. You would... T- yeah. <laughs> I don't chew these balls. Mm. He's just eating balls. Hey, I'm a burger. <laughs> I'm a bu- No, I'm not... Look, okay, I'm... I'm. There's, uh, there's some people, if they got... It depends. It just depends how... It depends how much mush is in there in the in the bussy and I you know, I I would go there's some guys. There are some guys, but it's it I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it. We you know, I, I I've tried and uh you know what? I'll um just don't just don't mention it to any of the other guys we saw earlier that maybe I liked it, you know? When we were when we were in that gay bar and uh I've been in a gay bar. Yeah, me and you are both just in a gay bar right now. Don't don't. Mit- I'll we're cut this we're not in a gay bar right now. We're in a gay bar right now. <laughs> we're in the back of a car. <laughs> yeah, we're in a gay car. Wait, what did you wait? So you actually went to a gay bar? 
Yeah, there's a there's a bar called Helsinki in Leicester. Oh my god. Yeah. Is it hot? Well, this girl tried it on with me and I was like, nah, I'm all right. Oh, because it's gay, but it's not just guy gay. There's other people who are gay as well who aren't Oh, bikes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. And then there's also a pub around the corner called the Rainbow and Dove. I've also been in there. It was a drag night when I went there. Oh, that's awesome. It was quite cool. I mean, so I'm bisexual, so like I'm very like open about that. Oh, okay, cool. I see. I've probably had more girlfriends than boyfriends. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I, I don't know if I've ever known you to have a... a well, I so guess it I've happened not... at college. <laughs> right. Because, okay, so to be clear, I haven't met you for not about nine years. Yeah, a lot's happened in nine years. Yeah. A lot. Uh, how many uh, pussies? I don't know. Sorry to put it like that. But um, you, said a, you said a lot, so I'm kind of, you know. Under ten, but above five. Oh my god. Shit. That's, uh, that's like above, f- that's like above five. That's above five and under ten. <laughs> Yeah, but shit. the people were not under 10. They were of age. <laughs> they were under 10? Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Shit. They were of age. Okay, okay. So you, so, uh, why, so what? what's that about? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question, right? I was going to gay person. Like, what's that about? Or you're bi. What? I don't know. This is greedy, right? You've got you to go for both? I don't, know. I don't know if it's greedy. I think it's just like you're just grateful with what you've got. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean... I, I can't lie, like, there's been times where I... Oh, my God. They're going to think we're really cool. <laughs> no, don't wave. Why aren't they looking? Because I'm a burger! Because they're terrified of you. <laughs> <laughs> like, that guy's on the phone like, hello, 999. Oh, my God. Yeah. Shit, yeah, it is Oh, yeah, we're, we're, in a, we're in a parking a parking lot. Yeah, maybe I can quickly... A car park. Oh, sure. I don't know why I said parking lot like I'm in America. You said 999 like UK, but then... 911. <laughs> The, I don't know if that's being picked up. But yeah, it probably didn't because of the glass and then oh, the, the light. Let the me turn light. that off. Here we go. Look there we go. That'll probably work. We're in a, we're in, here we go. It's we're in a fairly big car park in a shopping centre. It is big, but it's like not. It's not uh, too big. What do you think of like um? If it, you know, because you work in a small shop, right? That yeah. Working in small shops before has like really fucked me up. Like it, being in the same spot all day, I can't do that. But it depends because I love who I work with. Oh really? Okay. Oh, you know what my issue was is that I worked in a in a in a news agent's by myself. Ah. Uh. Yeah, and that and just being and it it was, it, I felt so bad for even having the job because I was getting I was getting paid nearly nothing, but I would less money would go into the cash register than what I was making in that day. If that makes sense. That's yeah. That's crazy. How did they keep you like hired? Well, well, they were losing money for like a year. Basically, they were um. I, I worked for a news agents and they're they were very lovely people. They're they're so nice and they both had their own personal struggles and stuff, but they were like the pillar of the uh the community for like um Aww. Yeah, like for fucking maybe forty years. And and then before that their parents ran it and and Oh, I love family businesses. Yeah, it, and it's so cute. In the end it really wasn't about money at all because they, they were losing money for about two years, I think, before they said, you know what? And then COVID hit, and they're like, okay, that's it. That's it. We are done. <laughs> Did they close down? They, yeah, they closed oh, down. Oh, that's I, awful. And honestly, it's for the best. They, they were like... No. <laughs> well, they, that, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's what they were saying. They were like... N- everyone was like, come back, come back. Oh, my God, it's the back. police. Oh, my God, the police. They're going to come arrest us. No, they're oh, not. Shit. It's fine. Shit. They drove by. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hello, we're going to burger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They can't arrest you because you're a burger. You're not a human being, and burgers don't get arrested. I always the burger. I always forget it's got bells in it. Mm. It's your ego. So you, that's the thing. A lot of people know you around here because you're the coffee. Oh, yeah. We was just having food just now, and someone's like, oh, my God, hi. And I was like, oh. Yeah. It's, it's when I'm in Asda at, like, 9 o'clock at night, and they're like, ooh, can I have a cappuccino? Like, I'm in Asda. It's 9 o'clock. The shop's closed. Do I look like I have a coffee machine in my bag? They're just joshing, though, right? They're just joshing. They can fuck off. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, to be honest, if, if uh, like, an old person came up to me and said, oh, could I have a newspaper put aside tomorrow, you know, when I'm... There's always old people. And you know what the worst part of the job was? That's, like, every week, we'd have to... Uh... Oh, my God. Every week we'd have to um, we would have to cross like three names off of the list because people would just die all the time because they're all old. So I'd have to. Uh, they're in the video now. <laughs> you know, we should interview them. No, we're not gonna interview people. Do you want to interview the police? No, definitely not. That'd be. I got. I got questions. You got more questions on your phone. Do you have any questions for me? I'm kind of awesome. Um, not right now. 
Maybe in a minute. Okay. I don't we'll, have anything at the top of my head. Should we just wait for a minute? Yeah. We'll wait for a minute. Okay. Never done away with the silence on the pod. But I think this is a good thing. So how do you feel about the bubble tea? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. I love bubble tea. Holy it's shit. quite nice to be fair. That's mm. my question. Oh, you had a question. Do you think we've changed much in school? So how many years has it been since we've last seen each other? It would have the I mean, we probably I don't know how many classes we had together towards the end, but No idea. Yeah, 20 2015 March would have been the last time I was at Abbey. And I I feel like I've changed maybe because to be honest, I w- I went to a new school and uh I think I I got I I fucking you know got got in with the, the this one guy you know he was real he was real depressing um and I didn't talk to anyone else and it, it kind of made you know when you talk to someone who's very um like a you know in a foul mood all the time and you don't really, really want to talk to anyone else oh that's not good yeah yeah so I got into the routine of like I'm always drained because of this guy but then I'm also I'm only ever only ever have the energy to speak to someone who. <laughs> you know, like I, would, I, I, I kind of lost the ability to talk to happy people, mm. and uh, yeah, I get that. That's why, that's why I kind of blanked after Abby. But um, you had a better time after the Abby, did you? Well, you remember more. Well, <laughs> I made more friends at Cromwell. I think, like, I didn't feel, I didn't get bullied at Cromwell, so that was nice. Um, and then I just did my GCSEs. By the time I moved, it was like time for GCSEs. And then obviously college came, so I moved away. I moved away straight after college. No, I moved after Cromwell, and then I went to college, and then I moved in with my dad for a little bit. Oh, okay. They are just sat watching us. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're doing a pod. <laughs> Please don't talk to people. Hey, do you want to do you want to be on the pod? <laughs> We're doing a we doing a podcast. A what? What, 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 well, right now we're talking about like school. Yeah, so wait, can you say that on the pod? <laughs> I don't I'm think the mic goes that far. You could just say fuck, fuck shit, whatever. I'm going to chuck you the mic. <laughs> School is a load of bollocks. School's a load of bollocks? Yeah. It is. Wait, wait, what, what do you think of uh, what do you th- real life war or video game war? Real life. Why would you pick real life war? Seems a bit more entertaining, doesn't it? <laughs> Real that is true. Because you get you get like kind of like a rush and you're like adrenaline. Real people are uh, at stake. Yeah, death. Yeah, death yeah. And all good things like that. Well, do you have any questions from? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you guys doing now? Uh, not a lot, to be honest. Yeah. We we got bubble tea. That's pretty good. Um, do you want some? <laughs> I think we're alright. Okay. <laughs> I think we're gonna go find something to do. Don't know yet. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you, f- thank you for your real life. Thank you for the answering the questions. No worries. What do you think of my outfit? Oh, it's beautiful. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Can I get your number? <laughs> shit, okay. It's 69. <laughs> well, it, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the mic back because this is actually our podcast, but thank you thank you for answering the no questions. <laughs> Have a good day. Holy shit. That's so funny. They was like, "What the fuck is going on?" They were so confused. If 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 his girlfriend wasn't there, I would have got his number for sure. <laughs> Holy shit! Um, <laughs> do you think you took that seriously? Hey, no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they loved it though. They absolutely loved it. There we go. You know, you just gotta fight. That's what that's what gets me off. What are we talking about anyway? School. We we're talking about fucking. Uh, oh yeah, basically, after school, I went to college, moved in with my dad, and then. After college, I moved on my own. I lived on my own at 17. Oh, wow. Are you living on your own right now? No, so I live with my boyfriend now, but I lived on my own from 17 to 21, I think. Shit. Because I went to uni as well. Is that what... You were in, like, an accommodation? Yeah. Right. Yeah, Ella did that. So for two years, I had accommodation, and then one year, I lived on my own. How did you like living on your own? Loved it. Well, mostly, I loved it, but... When you're sad, it's a bit much. Yeah, yeah. I think I f- I find that, especially since I have animals. Um, even if there's no one else around to talk, I can just like sit next to my sleeping dog or something. Yeah, animals are good for that. Like my mum died between 
college and uni. So I was like really upset about that, obviously. And you were by yourself in that time. Yeah. Oh, so that was hard. And then um, my dad died last year as well. Oh my God. So it's a bit weird having like no parents. I, Sh- I did not. I knew your mum had one. I, I, I didn't know. Yeah, my oh, dad damn. was only November last year. Really? Yeah. So it's pretty recent. Wow. And you, oh, and you were living with him at the time. Um, I wasn't with him at the time. I was with Kieran still. Oh, okay. So yeah. Right. Shit, man. Can I ask what happened? Um. We don't so we we don't know yet, cause um yeah. So we've had the funeral, and they're still doing tests, but we don't know. Okay. Shit, yeah. man. <laughs> God. Sorry, I did. I did not. No, uh, no, no. It's. I'm very. I'm very comfortable talking about it, and I think it's really weird because when you hear that someone's like someone's passed away, that someone knows, you're always like, oh my god, are you okay? Blah blah blah. But like, you sort of just learn to deal with it. Like honestly, right. it's like. Yeah. It doesn't really feel like anything to me. Really? Yeah, it oh sounds God. really... No, it sounds really <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> you just accept it. Right, okay. Yeah. You don't I, really I guess, mourn over it. I mean, you. yeah, th- life does go on, for sure. God. Yeah, so you weren't with your dad at the time. No. And it d- but it was a medical thing that got him. Well, I don't know. It might have been suicide. It might have been overdose. We don't know. Oh, okay. Or it might have been a heart attack, or it might have... Who knows? Okay. So we've still not had the reports back yet. Right. Okay. Yeah. They're still testing. God, my yeah, my mum lost her parents. I think a little younger than you, but yeah. It's it's rough. It's uh, it's rough. Yeah. Yeah, what when, when, so what how did your mum go? Um mum died from septicemia. What's that? Um I believe so I'm not like I'm not a medic or anything, but I believe it's like an infection of blood. Oh, okay. Like a blood infection. Right, okay. So she was in and out of comas and then passed away. Oh man. God, God, yeah, and I bet your parents were young though, because um, yeah. you got a young grandma. Yeah, so mum was I think thirty four, and dad was about forty three, forty two. Right, is that why I've always seen you with your your grandma if if your mum was ill? Um, mum was okay at first, but like they struggled with drug and alcohol problems when they right. were younger, so I wasn't able to live with them. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. so that's why you live with your grand. Yeah, I live with my Let's nan see. and granddad for a little while. Right, are they but bo- or just your nan now? Or are they both? Well, my granddad and my nan split up. Right, okay. So Recently? Um maybe like three years ago. Right, okay. Three or four years ago. Maybe longer. So he's married now, he's got a new wife. Wow, that's wild. Uh, like, I know, how like, old they are, like Yeah, he's like sixty two maybe or something and he's just like got a new wife. Your granddad is sixty two. <laughs> I think so. Your granddad is like four years younger than my dad. That's nuts. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy, yeah. That's oh, crazy. Fuck. He might be a little bit older. But he's between sixteen and seventy. So who knows? But right. still, get him. Can we remarried. call him up? We need to. We need no, we're not calling. <laughs> <laughs> I like asking uh, bombastic questions. I think he's probably asleep right now. Okay, we gotta call him. I, I gotta. I gotta <laughs> restart not, the camera. I'm not calling him. You're just saying that, that I'm quite funny. It's funny how um, that was off camera, so we don't know if I said that or not. Well, you said. Uh, well, you said. But it is true. I will. I will admit. I I'm funny. Be funny. Yeah, you're funny. I'm really wait. Hold on. Is it? Is this funny? Is this? Wait. Tell me if this is too funny. Please don't fart. No, I can't. I, that might be a poo. So okay. I'll don't wait. Do that. I'll wait. Okay. That's not very funny. It's not very it's funny. Just, it's just an original. Is it, what? <laughs> what? What the fuck? I have been. I I have pioneered farting on the pod. I think. I mean, like. I have a boyfriend, so I'm just kind of used to like farts and shit. <laughs> That's what guys do. They just fart. That's and all shit. they do, you know. <laughs> like getting trapped under the covers while he farts in my face, and then I can't oh get god. out because he's stronger than me. And oh, shit, that's abuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's I kind of, I kind of like it though. You like farts? No, I just like the abuse part. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I see. No, we're all right. That that that's definitely something that um, that is something that I would unintentionally do to like. Sh- I would be woken up to, sometimes the sound of my farts, sometimes the sound of Ella. Being upset with my farts, just m- my farts in general were a big, uh, a big strain, you know. Yeah. Well, I hope you didn't strain too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I went to I went to the doctors. Oh no. I thought I had ass cancer, right? I had a I had a lump on the ring of my ass. And I was like, what? Yeah, you know, it's like I, I, I was I literally I found well, I was washing in the shower and I felt it and I panicked and I got all flushed in the shower and I was like and I, I almost <laughs> I almost passed out of the shower I, r- I ran out I called the doctors I was like I need to see a doctor today I, I got ass cancer and I went there a guy fondled my ass and said and he, he asked me hey 
you take big shits? And I was like, yeah, yeah, a lot. I take a lot of big shits. He's like, yeah, you've torn your asshole open a few times and it's just not healed right. Oh, thank God. But yeah, apparently my bi- shits are so big that I ripped my ass open. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Isn't that so cool? No. That's yeah. so well, cool. Well, you know what? So, did you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait. So, in childbirth, right, when you... It's like a big shit. Yeah, sometimes when you give birth, the bit from your vagina to your ass hole rips... So it just becomes one big hole, I guess. Oh. It's very common. It is very common. Like, I think, I'm pretty sure it happens to everyone. Wow. And you sort of get stitched up. So before stitches were invented, it was like, okay, from now on you're a bird. You piss and shit out of the same hole. Well, yes and no. God, that's got to be rough. So women have three holes you down there. Three holes? Yeah. I only got two. The, the fuck? Yeah, so we've got... We've got the vagina. Right. By the <laughs> That's way, a great bit. <laughs> you know we don't wee out of our vaginas. You don't wee out of your vaginas, no. but it's the, it's the... There's a little, there's a tiny little hole in front of the vagina called the urethra. That's basically the same thing. No, it's I, not. No, I, I I knew that. I did know that. I. You're just playing dumb. I, and then obviously there's your asshole. I kind of forgot, but okay. now you've said it. Now you remembered. So now the bum, the do you pee, where does, out the, the no. poo comes out of the vagina? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> That's awesome. Holy. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. That's fucking awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my god. What, what do you think of pussy? Huh? Boy pussy. It's like an ass butt pussy boy pussy. I've never heard of this. It's like when... It's like... It's kind of what I was talking about earlier at the bar. And I was asking oh that guy, god. like, you know... With the, you, oh god. How big is your... How big is it? Is it how big is what? And then he... And then... Uh, then he was like, oh, "You mean my penis?" I said, "No. How? How? You know, how tight is your bussy?" You said this to the person at the bar. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I go into this place a lot. I said it to the guy at the bar. I, I uh, was it the guy with the curly hair? Yeah, yeah. I said, "Oh fuck." I said, "Is your uh, have you got curly pubes?" I just did wanna... you did you genuinely ask him that? Hold up. Okay, this could smell. Please, no. Open the window. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's gonna be a poo. I can't. I can't risk it. Please don't do it. I didn't. Um, I didn't actually talk to him. Okay, I do go into this place a lot, and I don't want them to recognize me. Yeah, you gotta wear a mask now. Oh great. That's funny. That is funny. I I always forget that. You know, visiting people, and I'm like, oh shit, I could be fucking shit up here. Because I do get, I do get kind of embarrassed sometimes in my own area. Like oh. I wouldn't play a character in my own area. I mean, you can with me. I'll just pretend that I didn't know you. Oh shit, that's a good idea. Yeah, this guy just came and sat with me at the bar. <laughs> no idea who he was. I had to call the police afterwards. And and then the police would actually probably get called on me. They probably would. Yeah, so I'm it would make sense. I'm not going to do that. What other questions do you Should have? Should we call the police? No, we're not calling the police. I think we could. No, because they track your phone. They I do? can't. Please Prank no. call the police? Please no. <laughs> please no. 999. What? <laughs> what? Hello? Um. I think I'm gonna uh, kill someone. Just letting you know. No, I don't know when, but I'll probably do it at some point in my life unless I'm arrested. That'd be a good prank, right? That'd be an awful prank. <laughs> yeah. What other questions do you have? Well, well, okay. I got some good. I got some good things. So you know, we haven't really spoke spoken much about uh, the book. Uh, yeah, this was the whole point of the podcast. Yeah, the book. that's kind of how like... I sold it to you. Well, I would have just come on the podcast anyway. I'm just easy. Well, we want to talk about it then. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, well, what the fuck? You got a book? Where, you know, what, you got a new one coming out. What, 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 what? I want to write my own book. Yeah, you can. How do you... But don't you need to... Don't you need to be... Uh, you can't self-publish. Surely not. I've self-published them both. How do you do that? Um, It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've well, got storytellers, so... Well, firstly, you've got to write it. Okay. That's step one. Okay. Write a book. Write a book, okay. Just, like, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just write what you want in the book. And then you've got to edit it. And then you've got to put, like, a contents page in, and numbers, and maybe, like, a like a little acknowledgements page. All sorts. Um, but then once you've done all that, like, wait, then, but then... <sighs> Then you, 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 do you, okay, so I don't know whether I want to buy a whole bunch of books, and then, tr- how do I know if I have an audience for it? Because I feel like my audience is pretty stupid, you know, they're not going to read books. Well, you could always do an audio book. 
I have, uh, to be honest, a lot of this podcast has be, been me reading my book before I finished it. Like, as I'm writing yeah. it, I'll read it. That's a good idea. I mean, you've got to know your audience first. Like, I've got Instagram page for, you know, like, poetry and stuff. And I did a lot of um, spoken word poetry, so I performed a lot. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, I've performed on stage quite a lot. So I sort of meet people along the way. Can I ask how many books you've sold? <laughs> what, of the first book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 120. 120? Yeah. Holy shit. So that's a thousand pound profit. Whoa, 120? Yeah. That is fucking nuts, Jasmine. You know what? I didn't think I'd sell that many, but and you're the only person who's bought one on Amazon. Where else? I gotta be honest. The one that I bought, I don't know if it's how Amazon prints it, but it starts to like yeah. curl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Amazon shit. Where could I else could I get it from? So I've also got it on Lulu dot com, um, or on my website, but it's sold out on my website because I'm really embarrassed about the first book. <laughs> right. Okay. I, it's boring. I thought it was pretty good. I mean, I read it through. It was, it was definitely short, but it was very... I liked short all the sweet. poems. Yeah, yeah. I like the ones where you roast... Um, it's a, so it's a, How would you describe it? I feel like it's a poem about like nature. Okay. There's a lot of nature poems, and it's very much like how I see... How I saw the world at that age, because I was like... I was a bit younger when I, when I wrote it and released it. And then the newer book is very, like, brutal. It's about, like, anti-government. It's oh, about, wow. you know, it's very, like, I don't know. It's straight to the point, but it's it's brutal and blunt. That's awesome. You know. Okay. I think with the first book, I held off a bit because I didn't want to offend anyone. But now I really don't give a shit. I remember you telling me you've got stuff that you want to say about you. Like, you've killed how, how you've killed babies or something. I have, have not done? killed babies. You've not killed, oh. Oh um, no! You said not to say that. Sorry, <laughs> you haven't killed. Ba- Jasmine hasn't killed any babies. No, I was gonna write a jokey. I was gonna write a jokey book about um, what you want to do, but you're right. obviously not allowed because of being legal and stuff like that. Like just swerving off the road, or like throwing your phone in like a, a river, just like impulsive thoughts. Do you think you're? Is that illegal to throw your phone in a well, river? No, it's not. But it's what about probably, a baby in a river? That might be illegal. If you're teaching them to swim. Um, well, apparently, if you throw a baby in water, they will just float. And, like, apparently oh, people, apparently babies know how to swim from, like, get-go. How many bricks to sink a baby? Um, probably just one. Okay. I reckon. You re- Yeah, you reckon. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't <laughs> no, know. I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't know. I did answer that pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit. Um, shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, th- I feel like we should probably lay low for a bit then, if we are going to upload this. Anyway. Shit. You, you. I think that's really cool that you've released it, and you've sold a hundred. I gotta be honest. If I was gonna guess how many books you sold, mm-hmm. I would have guessed like ten. Yeah, so one hundred and twenty. It really helps when you go to events. Right. So you perform the poetry, and then you're like, you know, if you liked what you heard, I've got some books with me today, and then people buy them. Oh, from your person. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's awesome. So you have got like you, you've printed quite a few for those. Events. I've probably sold a hundred in person. Oh, that's cool. So that you know, cool. at the events they sell. So yeah. It's, I mean, it, it's mostly from, like, friends and stuff, but obviously the numbers do add up. Yeah. You know. That is very cool. Yeah, I I definitely... Uh, my friend Connor has also... Uh, he's just released I know book. Connor. Connor Sill? Yeah, I yeah, know yeah. Connor. He probably doesn't remember me much, but... I bet he would. I bet he would. I, you know, everyone fucking... Ella says that. Everyone says, I bet sh- they wouldn't remember me that. But look, I think when, when you see the person, it's like, oh, yeah. Do you ever, like, sit and think, how do, if they could describe me, how would they describe me? Sometimes like if someone knew that. you, like if that someone knew you at school, like how would they describe me? Uh, yeah. Like, do you remember Jasmine? Yeah, that fucking weirdo. <laughs> she was a bitch. I'm surprised she's still alive and didn't kill herself. Oh my god! No, but that's Jesus. you know what I mean. You're saying that about Jasmine from school? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Fucking bitch. Oh my god. No, With I that curly, shitty hair. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. How did you know I had shit in my hair? Huh? How did you know I had shit in my hair? I could just smell it. <laughs> shit yeah no I, I i do think that i do think because i think unfortunately i probably wasn't forgotten but probably for the wrong reasons you know <laughs> i think uh yeah may- maybe in the second school i went to where i was hanging out with that lame guy um may- maybe maybe then i would have been forgotten because i didn't talk much i've always thought you're like wacky and eccentric thank you which is good thank you know you. like when i remember you at school you never failed to make me smile and you know, I think you was always and you did a lot of Bora impressions <laughs> oh no but that was me and Adam that was me and Adam all the fucking way yeah I think I remember Adam so <laughs> <she's> like, <laughs> <laughs> what the, say what you want you know I, so I used to fancy Adam at school I don't think he knows this 
I could ask. Like, he will you watch said this. Adam, oh shit! No, he won't. He won't. He doesn't watch. You said shit. you said Adam Duck earlier when we was in the car, and I was like, oh fuck! I used to fancy him like majorly. That's awesome. I don't think he knew. I'll I'll tell him. I'll tell him. It, you know. I don't know if you should tell him. He's with someone right now, but they might be. Op- you know, they I mean, might be open. Um, I've got a boyfriend, so obviously nothing would happen. If, if he if he's open, there's a four way thing. I said I thing. used to. It could be a four way thing going. on. I don't know how my boyfriend would feel about that. A four way. Yeah, not with guys. Not with guys. That's the thing. Guys are very um. What's the word? Competitive. I I, I would definitely feel like uh. What's the word? Like oh shit, I need to compete with this guy. But two girls, it's like I'm the one with a dick. You know, I can I can go crazy. You know. Unless yeah. there's a chick with a dick. Then I have be been with a chick with a. Strap really. On. I've been with a chick with a strap. On oh dick. okay okay. <laughs> shit, I was gonna say. That was fun. You know, if 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 a girl gets the, you know, when a girl becomes a guy, like transitions. Yeah, I've not done that one. They they have <laughs> you've not done that <laughs> one. You haven't got that quest yet. No, but they they they're dicks. They they have a pump and they pump it up, and it pumps up and they can be hard for as long as they want. No, you're lying. I'm serious. That's how that. I mean, that's how it can work. Yeah. I know someone who went from guy to girl, and oh. they have the best vagina I've ever seen in my life. Really? They showed me pictures. See, so people saying like you can't change your gender, like you can become better. Oh yeah, so much more. Like that is the most perfect vagina I've <laughs> ever seen in my life. I, I'm jealous. I wish that was my vagina. <laughs> Maybe you got to become a guy and then become a girl. I can't be bothered. You I don't have that type transition. of money. You know, I'm happy how I am. Do you think the NHS should uh, should pay for, pay for all of it? I don't know. God, that's transphobic. I feel like I'm gonna swiftly move on to from this conversation. <laughs> Swift. <because> d- <laughs> Swift. Uh, do you, you know. like Taylor Swift? No. Good. I think she's a bitch. Whoa! <laughs> Shit, why, why do you think she's a bitch? I just can't stand her. Oh my god. I just, I, I don't know why. I just can't stand her. You wouldn't pay five grand to go to this, one of her concerts? <laughs> Have you seen that loads of people are wearing diapers to go see her live? Because <laughs> they don't want to, <laughs> because they don't want to lose their spot. That they, is so awesome. Like, if, they're, if they've waited hours in line and stuff to, in the queue, and then they get at the front, they just wee themselves so that they don't have to go to the toilet and then lose their spot. That is so, because then all the shit is surrounding Taylor, like, she's going to get on stage and bath. I don't like. think people are going to shit. <laughs> I, I would. Just, I think it's just piss. If I'm wearing a diaper, I would shit. I would fucking shit. Maybe I'd try it one day. Yeah? Yeah, why not? I got diapers in the in the back. I'm good. Oh, not right now. But I feel like I'd probably have to be with my partner. I feel like that's a me and my boyfriend type of situation. I'll film no. and meet up. Okay. It's not it's not a sexual thing. It's purely just moral support. Moral support. Um I might need to hold his hand during the time. I don't know how Elle would feel about me telling you this. Oh no. No, let's not say anything then. Because we're on but, a podcast, it's going to be like live. Well, that's the thing. It's going to, uh, it's going to be live one day anyway. This. Oh no. Because it was filmed. No, you can't say this to Ella. Just leave her out of it. She filmed me shit in a bathtub. <laughs> oh god. Why a bathtub? It um, doesn't flush. So you have to plunge it. No, you know what? I don't want to talk about this. Th- there's some context I could give, but I don't you know. want. Con- I don't even want to know anymore. <laughs> You've said enough. <laughs> it was for home. a funny video. It was for a funny video. And when it's released, you guys will see. Please take me home. Oh, shit. I'm scared. Is this it? I'm scared. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I use your toilet? No. Can I use your bathtub? No. I just don't want you ripping your asshole in my house. <laughs> yeah. I've ripped my asshole a few fucking times. It might be in that video, actually. Basically, I bet it's... Not, I, no. Her mum bought me, like, this game where, where you can fish poos out of the bathtub, right? And y- it's, like, little fake floating poos. And uh, I said to Elle, wouldn't it be fun? You know, it kind of escalated. Like, wouldn't it be funny if I actually was fishing for shit? And so then we did that. I'm really surprised you and Ella aren't still together after going through that. <laughs> together. <laughs> when we did that, that was definitely like a... I feel like that was a make or break in your relationship. Yeah, I, I, I mean, she was just completely for it. She was all for it. And then even fucking like getting... It, she, she, I was gagging. And she was fine. She was just like, no, it's whatever. You know, it's, I'm just filming... From whatever, and I, I was like, I felt ill. What she's a woman. Gro- yeah, she's really what gross. A woman. I think you should get back with her. <laughs> yeah, I think you should say, look, we've been through me shitting in a bar. <laughs> yeah, we've been through a lot. Yeah, come back. Oh, God, text her when you get back. I miss you. I'm. Uh, oh my God, that would be the fucking worst. My thing asshole misses you. Yeah, can we do another shit filming video? Oh I feel like we should move on. Oh, I, I mean, we. C- I, I could do a shit. I don't want to talk about shit anymore. I, that's all it's I've a got. very man thing to talk about. Women don't really talk about shit. 
What do you guys talk about? Um, I don't know. I don't really have many women friends. Oh shit! I don't. I hate women. I'm like a. I'm the opposite of a feminist. I fucking hate women. Oh my god! They wind me up. The hell? Are you gonna transition? No, no, no. I like being a woman. But you I wish hate you women. were the only woman. No, I. D- Some women are okay. It's the bitchy women I can't stand. Right, Ella. And no, Ella's cool. Ella's not bitchy. <laughs> she doesn't gossip. No, she it's does. The That's what Ella doesn't like women. about girls as well. Ella's always said she doesn't like that about girls. Yeah, I can't stand it when they're like that. I've not got time for it. I don't care that your best friend's boyfriend slept with her brother. I don't care. I, you I, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's like, I don't know who these people are. Don't talk to me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, there's a poem that you're ragging on some girls. In, in oh, book. yeah, yeah. What, what was that about? Uh, what? It's called Acne Craters on Pubescent Skin. Yeah, Ella, Ella was reading it and she pointed out, she's like, oh my God, these are real people from our old they school. They are real people <laughs> from our old school, yeah. So can, can we read that poem? Oh, I guess oh, we don't no. have that one. Um, we don't have that poem, but... Can, can you... Uh, who are they? You know, you were saying like... You said like, fucking fuck you, bitch. Fuck, suck my... Fuck. I did not say that. <laughs> but I definitely felt like that when I was writing it. Yeah. Um, no, they are real people. They would... They would tease me at school. They're probably cool now. Honestly, like, we've all been through it. They're probably cool now. They're probably not. I don't know. I don't care. I know one of them does sell weed brownies in Marbella. Oh, wow. Yeah. Should we go get some? I, do, I, I don't have a passport. Oh, shit. So we can't go to Spain. Oh, that's not in... Oh, okay. Yeah. Marce- I don't know Marbella. Where Marbella. Yeah, she was a bitch. I'm sure she's nice now. That's the thing. School, you know, you. C- I fucking hate school, but the thing is, is that... Everyone, everyone was, it, it was like, put a whole bunch of immature people in a place they really don't want to be, and it's going to be a nightmare, you know? Yeah. Um. So probably, I mean, I've seen people who bully me, like, just walking around, and I'm being like, oh my god, like, I've I've felt like, oh shit, you know? And then they're like, oh hey, Oliver, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, we're not in that horrible and the, place anymore. And they've anymore. been nice to you. Yeah, and I'm like, it's like, fuck, it fucks with your head, but you're like, oh shit, Oh yeah, yeah for sure. You're like, you just, you're not people at that age. You're like, uh. Do you remember Elias Norton? I do. So he was an absolute prick to me at school. <laughs> yeah. And now, every year, we message each other twice a year, and we say happy birthday to each other. Oh, nice. Every year, without fail. Well, there and you go. And he's actually lovely. Like, he's so sweet, and, like, we've spoken about it, and we were like, I was like, you know, why was he such a prick to me? He was like, you was a prick back to me. He was <laughs> like, you gave it back. And I was like, yeah, I did. And, like, we're cool now, but I don't know what his problem was for me. Yeah, looking back, I probably was mean to a lot of people who believed me as well, because... Well, what, what you got are you anger supposed to do? You yeah, know? you you got anger in you from everyone else, and you got to you got you've got to be angry. I think at the end of the day, we're just trying to survive at school. <laughs> yeah, especially at the fucking Abbey. Oh my oh god! Oh my god, it was awful. God, the, oh, it was a shit school. <laughs> it was a really shit school. There was smashed windows that were smashed for the entire time I was there. There was uh, mold everywhere. The, I remember oh, once yeah. in Miss Moodley's. There was oh, she was a bitch. Yeah, she fuck for a whole year. Oh my god! Right, so I, at the, right at the beginning of the year, I we all given a fucking book and and you write maths in it. Yeah, yeah. That's how class works. And my maths book went down the side of the thing, and I was like, oh, I I've I don't know where my maths book is. Oh, Oliver, you always lose everything. And I was like, oh, well, what do that I do? That was a very good impression. Yeah, of <laughs> yeah. Because uh, people think I exaggerated, but I'm glad you're here to no, verify. No, no, no. That was that it's was exact, com- right? That was. In <laughs> fact, I think that was being quite nice. <laughs> really? Shit. Yeah. Well. Anyway, she's like, "Oh, you always lose everything. You can use the scraps of paper." And she'll get these. And I would, for a whole fucking year, I wrote on scraps of paper. And then it was behind. And then we found out that it was behind the 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 thing. And I said, "Look where it was the whole time." And she's like, oh, oh well. Yeah, that's all she had for me. And she would send me out of class for burping, farting. I would like, I would, oh my God, I would do the, the smallest thing. And she would she would grab a whiteboard and, and uh, do you have the pen here? This is what she'd do. Careful of the um, bubble tea. Oh yeah, I, I, I won't go crazy. I, I just can imagine it just spilling. <laughs> oh, sp- did we get that on the pod? Me earlier panicking about the bubble tea. Uh, I don't know if we were recording Yes, then. We, d- we were recording. Cause right. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We was halfway through conversation. Okay, yeah. And I was like, I want to pop this open while we're talking, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is what she would do. She'd be writing, and then I'd go, uh, hey, uh, uh, you know, can I, uh, I don't know, I'd say something. I can't, what does that mean? She'd go, Oliver, you're taking the mic! And she'd she'd scroll over the, Oliver! And she'd write it over all of the work. 
Serious. <laughs> yeah, she get fucking pissed, and, and then she go. <sighs> she'd look around, kind of embarrassed, and she go. Hmm, and she'd rub it off, and then she'd put me really small in the corner. Yeah, I thought I'd demonstrate that. She was. I genuinely think she needed like antipsychotic medication. Yeah. Because she was. <laughs> Everyone used to call her Mrs. Moody, didn't they? I think in remember? our class we didn't even do. We had we went above and beyond with what. We <laughs> <laughs> what did you call her? What do we do? We. <sighs> she we was a bitch. I'm so glad she wasn't my maths teacher. I got held back. I was like in the lowest group for maths. Who I did you have? Can't remember. So you, did you? When did you have Miss Moodley? Or when did I you never had her, her? But well, I just I would see her walking around. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough to know that she's fucking nuts. Like well, we used to line up before class, and I'm pretty sure we all lined up <laughs> next to each other. Then you'd see her. <laughs> you'd see her just walking back and forth. Yeah, she was like fucking Hitler. She, she would, was. I remember one time there was um. Sorry, you, please, if you've got a story to tell, but I once we talk about Miss Moodley, I get f- <laughs> wired as shit because fuck this bitch. She was like, oh. Everyone stand in line and and you know all, like fucking Hitler and then this one like snobby girl was supposed to go yeah everyone stand in line and then she was like oh. she like shot up and she thought one of us said it and she said everyone get in the class and sit down and then we we all sat down and everyone was like really trying to hold in their laughter and she you know the word mimic like oh yeah 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 she said who mummicked me and she oh looked around and then God. everyone burst out laughing and she was like stop stop laughing <laughs> she definitely went home and cried every day yeah yeah we- I, I also remember like yeah she'd be really strict with her class in line but she would love telling people off who weren't even in her <laughs> class <laughs> like there'd be a line next to her and she'd be just like stand in line for your teacher <laughs> Oh <laughs> it's nothing to do with you, bitch. But yeah. uh, <laughs> if I was a teacher, like I'd be like, shut the fuck up, my my class. Let me do my thing. Oh my god. She just. I think she wanted to be head teacher. Speaking of head teacher. Oh my god, you got head teacher. Mr. Mr. Christopher. Mr. Chris- did you ever? Did you ever have him as a teacher, or you just? Um, I think he used to come. In- do you remember they used to come round like the SLT? What, what the- Is that what they were called? Oh, there sure. was like three of them. Three of the heads. Like the higher up people, okay. and they would come round in your classes and check like how oh, they were yeah, teaching. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. And if you didn't have a, pe- it was like pen, pencil, ruler, rubber. Yeah, and you get after school detention. You got an after school detention if you didn't have one of those, which I think is. It's absurd. It's absurd. I got an after school detention from Mister for Mrs. Ferrar Ferrer Ferrer Rocher. Yeah, whatever the fucking yeah. yeah. I got one from her for not having two rubbers. I said, but God I. Forbid. I said I don't have maths today, and I have one rubber. I'm not going to use this one rubber. And she was like, No, no. But if if you lose it or something, and she gave me, I don't think it was after school, but she gave me a detention for not having two rubbers. Fucking stupid. I said, Should I have she two calculators too? She made that up on that day. Yeah. She definitely did. She just wanted to give out a detention. I feel like maybe they were going to their little classes and they'd be like, their little staff meetings. Right, you need to hand out 27 after school detentions. Today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it'd be like, it'd be like when, when you pass a driving test. You need to fail this many people. Yeah. That must be what it is. I bet that's what it was. God, because yeah. Because they would give us detention for fucking anything. There's no reason they for loved it. it. I think they would probably get home and have a little wank thinking about how... <laughs> How miserable they made us. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah, I know the Christopher is is crispy foreskin. Got a lot oh, of action. Oh, I remember after crispy uh, foreskin. Yeah, that yeah. was the nickname for him. <laughs> and then there was this rumor going around that he had a Nazi tattoo on his arm. Because he looked kind of like a uh, were they neo-Nazi? Oh yeah, definitely. He'd he'd do really well in that time. He he was in the news for um. What? Do you remember? Do you know he was in the news? It was pretty f- recently. They had a board. Right, if you go into actually, yes, I saw this. this. I saw yeah. this. <laughs> I wasn't obviously we weren't there, but yeah. I did see about it. Yeah, you, he, so they had a board like, and they had the the like how good or bad students. Yeah, were. so if like people was like under their targets, they'd have a target for a year, um, and it would had to be a certain grade. And if they weren't meeting their targets, they was like naming and shaming them on a board for everyone to see outside the cafeteria, which is absurd. Ah, it's fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh yeah. By the way, uh, this many people. And like, to be fair, I don't think anyone was bullying each other because of it. But you know, it could cause bullying. Yeah, it's like na- it's naming and shaming. You know. Yeah. On a board for every <laughs> the whole school to see. Yeah, and he had to do an apology in the news, which is funny. Jokes. I can't believe he's still head teacher. Is he still? Oh, I guess yeah, he yeah, is, yeah, yeah. He's still head teacher. 
God, what a fun he guy. He's a dick. I'm Actually, was there any good teachers at Abbey College? I'm trying to think. All the good ones moved to my school, so Harry. Which was where? It was in Whittlesea. It's like the next kind of closest one. Right. But yeah, I remember um, all the... All the good kids, all the good, uh, not maybe not you, but you not know, me. you moved. I was in Chatteris. <laughs> I went to Cromwell, which was full of interesting people. Adam goes to Chatteris. Did he? He's it's there sometimes nowadays, just if you wanted to know. Oh, I thought you meant Chatteris School. I was like, did he? I would have no, known no. if he was there. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> I would have actually. sniffed him out. <laughs> yeah, he does have a smell about him, and uh, I don't remember. I remember this. I just remember his hugs were really good. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you know I. He, Listen, we... I think we hugged maybe twice, but twice? I remember them. You remember... Oh, my God. I got, I'm going to restart the camera. Oh, my boyfriend messaged me half an hour ago. Oh, shit. I, yeah, it, Jasmine at work. No, I told him I was doing this. This could be a job. We make... Uh, I could... I mean, I can't pay you, but... We, Please don't pay me. Maybe maybe if... I promise that if I ever make any money from this video, you, you'll get half of it. Okay, thanks. Um, Jasmine at work. No, I'm doing this podcast. Still be done soon. Obviously, I'm not at work. We close at five thirty. <laughs> it's half past eight. Who wants that? He I'd just put, a... "Oh yeah." He responded straight away. He was like, "Oh yeah." I told him about this. I was Bye. about to say, who would want a coffee at this time? But I'm, almost, I was going to try and have one. I did just have a coffee. Mm. Oh, now he sent me a Snapchat. I'm back. Oh my god, he's got another fish. Cute. He's got a fish. We've got loads of fish. We have all the fish. What's your favorite kind of pet? Oh god, cat. Cat? Yeah. Cat's cow. fucking suck. You'd like Ella, but cats are fuck. Oh my god. Don't you ever think like a cat, like if you die, it'll just eat you? I'm not that bothered about that. But to be fair, you are dead, dead, right? Yeah. I've always thought that. Like when I'm when I die, just chuck me in the trash. Who gives a shit? Don't you think? Who, what, what do you want to happen when you die? What do you want to? Uh, Reincarnation. Well, I don't know if you can choose that. Can you? Can you? If you can, I'd choose it. Oh my god. Oh, I've got uh, a headache because I've not been drinking enough coffee today. <laughs> <laughs> you can go get another one. <laughs> I've got caffeine withdrawals. I'm like a drug addict. Help. Shit. I never drink coffee unless I have to drive somewhere. Or So I get free coffee at work. So I drink it like water. And I've only had one today, which is the one I've just had now. I didn't have oh, one at work shit. today. Did and you... a hot chocolate. So what have you drank today total? All liquids. Uh, in total, um, probably a litre of coconut water. And a large oat hot chocolate. And a coffee. A litre of coconut water? I love coconut water. Okay, that's good then. I, I was it's worried really you were going to say like you had a coffee and a hot chocolate and that's it. But No, a litre of... I've been that's healthy. Yeah, that is I've a had lot. a salad today. I'm doing good. Oh, I literally had the best salad. Salads can't be good. There's no, no way. No, it was so good. I had It had lettuce. I don't know how to say it, but edamame beans. Edamame um, beans. Guacamole. Okay. Bacon. Red okay. onion. Red onion and tomato. And then a bit of rocket. That does sound... Good. You had it on a rocket? It was fucking good. That sounds awesome. Yeah. I mean, it came without a lot of this stuff and I added it because we have, like, ingredients at work. Oh. So I just made it my own. You just did your own thing. Did my own thing. That's pretty cool. It was very nice. If I was going to... Yeah. If I have to have a salad, it's got to have, like, bacon, grease, Oreo... Oh, yeah. It had a lot of bacon Milkshake, in it. that kind of stuff. All yeah, mixed up. for real. Oh, God. You know, I, I probably got more questions. I mean... You, what other question you got? You know, I... Like, Fuck. Let's just, let's just have a look here. Let's have a little look. I, you know, I just want to make sure I, g I get all the good ones, good good questions out of the way. Oh, can I tell you about my... Oh, I feel like I've done a lot of talking, you know, and, and I, I, so, you know, some of these... It's like I want to tell you about my book idea. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, of course. Okay, the book is uh, called... No, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> well, actually, maybe you wouldn't if you hear the title. It's oh called God. Eat Shit Dream. Yeah. But the... Oh, not, not about... Not like Eat Shit Dream. It's like... Eat, comma, shit, comma, dream. And oh, okay. I get you. I get you. Yeah, yeah. Like, eat, sleep, rave, repeat. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. It's kind of a less cool version of that. Okay, cool. Um, No, it's not very cool. But it basically, for uh, a very long time, like a number of years, I took an image of every single food that I ate. I logged every single poo I took. Like, uh, you know, I'd Great. Write, write about it. Like, <laughs> Of course it's about shit. <laughs> yeah, the shit. And then also... For a, you know a year or so, maybe two, three, I wrote every dream that I've ever had, and so it's in order. Everything I've eaten, every shit I've done, and every dream I've had, and it's like the effects of the food on the dreams and ah, yeah. But the problem is, is that I've done from twenty twenty one October to twenty twenty one November, 
and it's already like 50 pages long. Well, yeah. And uh, and I've obviously <laughs> shat a lot. Yeah. Did you write about the one in the bath? Yeah, I would have. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I was yeah. logging poo then. I, yeah. need, I, need <laughs> to, I need to read that, that yeah. entry. <laughs> Ella filmed me shit. Yeah. I remember <laughs> bragging to all my friends after that. She filmed me shit. She filmed me shit. I've sent photos of my shit to Kieran. That's awesome. I but send I photos of my shit to everyone. Please don't send me photos of your shit. Well, what if it was just like a sausage? Mm. What if it looks really appetizing? I don't know. I'm not really into shit. I'll put it's, a s- it's not one of my fetishes. Okay, if I if I send you an image and it's got like the spoiler warning o- over it, just don't open it. Y- or open it. No. Y- <laughs> but yeah, it's up to you, I guess. I'll just show my boyfriend first. Yeah, what well, he does he, he like it. it? He probably likes shit. Oh my God, can I have his number? No. Oh shit. He's taken. F- he's taken? Yeah. Oh oh yeah. Someone shit. took him last week. Someone. T- no, I'm joking. Oh my God. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> God, I was gonna say we have to go I'm get joking, him. I'm joking. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Of, what do you think of that? I don't know how to. But the thing is, I want to. What shit? <laughs> like, oh, my book idea like, it's a good one right it's yeah of course I like it it's like a little diary entry yeah. I don't know who will read it that's my issue it's like <laughs> people say like they don't they don't care for people's dreams right like don't tell me about I your like dream. dreams I just don't like shit okay so you'd skip the shit bits I'd skip the shit bits but I would I would read the the dreams and the eating yeah yeah the, cool. they're images of food. I've got oh no not year. images or food, food. oh okay yeah, yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> Yeah. Uh, scary. Do you remember there was a website called Rate My Poo? Really? Com. I don't know if it's still active, but oh I got to get on this. Rate My Poo. Oh my god. I really need a wee. Do you want to go? I might go to Five Guys and then run back. Y- y- yeah. Yeah, I, well here's the issue is that with the that wait, does it open? It actually yeah, it's just fucked. But this door opens hold up. You what? Should I I'm gonna jump out and come back. Should I keep go? Should I just try and keep going and read through some rate my poos? Yeah, I think you should go for it, and then I'll be back within like two minutes. Okay. Yeah. Sure. That sounds cool. And we you can, can miss continue. the poo bit. And then and I can miss the poo bit. Okay. I like this. Ugh, I'm gonna. Um, we're gonna have to try and get out. Ugh. Okay. Jasmine is now e- leaving the car. Bye. She's gonna pee, but I, while I talk about poo. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get back in the car. Ugh, here we go. Okay. It's really fucked up in here. I gotta drive back. Probably have a car crash. I don't care though. So is this me now? Jasmine has left the car. I could probably, d- you know what? I could probably do a bit where I like write on the whiteboard and see if she notices. Hold up. Let me get. So I'm getting the pen. Oh fuck. I fucked it. Hold up. I fucked it. Yeah, this is seriously the first time I've met Jasmine in uh, in nine years, and it's n- like it's nuts how you can go from like someone just being uh. Someone just being a, like a, ugh, like a distant memory to then all of a sudden, just like, holy shit, they're real. You know, that isn't like, that wasn't, uh, you know, <laughs> that wasn't fake, you know. That doesn't make any fucking sense. But, you know, like, in, o- in order to deal with the fact that, you know, you, you obviously through life you meet people, you, you get out of contact with, you you know, you c- you, your brain can't, you know, pay attention to everything. Um, and I think, uh, oh, I'm going to fuck. I'm gonna do it outside the car though and into the mic. I think um hold up. It would actually be horrible to hotbox and hit. <laughs> oh, it doesn't smell. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, obviously in order to like um I, I guess, you know, you are not gonna remember everyone. Like kind of like what have we been discussing, but then when you meet them again, it's like holy shit. That was real. They were, th- you know, and if I went back to my old, uh, like I went back to visit my old school, it's like, holy shit, my old school is real. Did I write on the fucking roof? The fuck is wrong with me? Jesus Christ. Alright, let's get rid of my name here. This is what Miss Moodley would have had to do. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about saying so many names all the time, but whatever. Um, What am I going to write, Jeff? Fuck, it's just something... Something mean, but not too mean, because I, you know, I've only this is the first time I've seen her in nine years. I haven't quite gauged, you know, like how you know. I think she can fuck take any. Just fuck you, Jasmine. I can say that. Jasmine is a piece of shit. Uh, fuck it's f- Jasmine. <laughs> I'm not gonna spell it right. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, ja- Jasmine. Oh fuck. Jasmine eats. Uh, eats doo doo. 
eats doo doo. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god! Holy shit. Okay, uh. Hey, hey! Hey! Yeah, c come in! Come in! Um, just take a seat. Ugh! Oof, shit, I'm sorry, I just fucking trampled on you. Okay, so Jasmine's getting back in the car. Hey there! Oh, no, don't Oh! Oh! Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he was. Uh, the manager was not happy. I went for a wee without buying anything. What? It's Five Guys. I don't care. He was staring at me. The fuck? Five Guys? Why would Five? Why would he even fucking give a shit? Like I don't know. But I was expecting Five Guys at the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, like say, so here's the toilet, my lady. Oh, oh well. But wait. So why? Why would he even give a shit? I don't know. What did, he, what did he say? What the fuck did he, he didn't, say? He didn't say anything. He just like glared at me as I walked out and I just sort of didn't make eye contact. <laughs> and you pissed all over the toilet. <laughs> yeah. No, fuck I didn't. That guy. I didn't. But I feel much better now. I've been for a wee. So that's one of the guys who are bad. So four, four, four out of five guys. I don't think I've met all five yet. Got to catch them all. Yeah. Pokemon. What do you think of Pokemon? Um, it's kind of for nerds, right? No. I've just not. I used to have Pokemon cards, but obviously I don't collect them now. Because uh, I've grown up. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I didn't actually go on the website. I didn't actually go on the website. Okay. Uh, it was too gross. What's Jasmine Eats? Yeah, you interrupted me, but... It was you <laughs> was going to put Jasmine Eats Doo Doo, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, <laughs> like poo. <laughs> like, okay. Uh, well, that's okay. Uh, it's just a joke. You know, I didn't know... It's I didn't, fine. I didn't know... Because like, we haven't met in nine years. I didn't know what level... Like, what could I write there? Cause, fuck you, can you write, Jasmine. You can write anything you want. You're a piece of shit. I, for real. Yeah. I don't know if I could I don't know if I could write that, to be honest. <laughs> what if I wrote in a book? I mean, let's be honest, I've got two dead parents, nothing phases me anymore. Oh God. <laughs> God, yeah, you lost them in quick succession. Yeah. God, it's horrible. Um, God. Not as horrible as shit. <laughs> it's not as horrible <laughs> as shit. I could do a shit meaner than two dead parents. Like I don't know. Well, actually we yeah, maybe you could. May I did fart while you were gone. Didn't oh, smell. Good. I can't smell anything. So. I did it out of the car. Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you. You're well. I was worried, but I, afterwards I was like, I could have done that in here because it doesn't. It didn't smell like I did it right on the mic, and I. <laughs> it, was, it was fine. Cool. What other questions have you got? Um, Lots. I, I, you know what? I might have actually got through. All, uh, you know, what's your favorite book? Uh, what well, I've written or other books? Both. Um. <laughs> your balls in your mouth. I only have one ball in my mouth then. I got the Hitler. Mm. I love bubble tea. I'm gonna have this again, definitely. Hell yeah! So favorite book. My first, my my own favorite book is Rebirth, which is the second book, which is not out yet. It'll probably be out by the time this is up. Um, and then my favorite book that I've not written. Hmm. I don't know. I quite like Charles Bukowski. He's a pretty good poet. Okay. I like um You like po poetry books? Yeah, pretty much. I'm reading one at the moment. Yeah. I'll get it out of my bag cuz it's in my bag. Holy shit, you got books with you? I've oh always got books with me. I'm a poet, mate. <laughs> Maybe not anymore <laughs> with your uh, hole in your bag. This one's called Limitless. It was a film as well. I watched the movie. I watched the movie. It's a great film. Yeah. Books even better. But isn't that the thing? Like, if a book's good enough, they'll turn it into a movie anyway. So what's the point in reading? Just wait for the movie. Oh, shit. My bookmark fell out. Now oh. I'm going to have to find where I was reading. Well, if you're limitless like the guy in the movie, surely it's in your memory somewhere. You can just snap oh, back I wish. to it. I wish this was real. I would definitely buy that pill. Yeah. So Limitless is about... What is it about? It's about... It's about a writer who, like, struggles to write and stuff. Um, and he can't really keep up with his life and just life gets on top of him. He can't keep up with cleaning and like housework. So he meets up with an old friend and he explains his troubles and this guy offers him a drug that will make him like really intelligent and smart and just told him to just take the drug. So he didn't really want to, but he took it anyway. And then he got home and he managed to clean his whole flat. He put all of his CDs in like alphabetical order and then he finished like writing the book. And he learned the piano. He learned the piano. He learned Italian fluently. He was just like really, really smart. And then he went to go meet his friend, and his friend died. His friend got shot. And, and his then. Who killed him? 
I can't remember that bit, but he did find a big stash of the pills that make him like smarter. I think so, really smart. So he could have sold them, but he decided to take them all. Yeah, I guess you could make more money from doing it. Mm, yeah, he said he thought it'd be he'd make more money being smarter and taking them than selling them, which is true. Was his name Bradley Cooper? Do you think he's really that smart in real life? Probably not. No, definitely not. He's just a dumb guy. Probably, just the actor. Yeah, fucking hell. I mean, so you would take that pill. What would you do with the pill if you could? Mm, I don't know. You, what about, uh, you could write, like, all the time? Um, yeah, but I also like, I like having writer's block, and I like struggling to write. Because, really? Because when you do have a poem, like, when you finally do manage to write, you're, like, really grateful. Oh, it's special, yeah. Yeah. But if you was, like, writing all the time, it just wouldn't be as special. You know what? You'd probably be too clever for your own... You'd be like, oh, that's... Real. And everyone like, wow, that's amazing. You'd be like, yeah, whatever. I come out with this all the fucking time. Yeah. it's good. I guess that's good. I never thought about it like that. But to appreciate your own work, maybe you do need to yeah. struggle to get it there. Because, yeah, I, I mean, I definitely... Uh, there's definitely videos where, like, the amount of effort it's taken has definitely contributed to how much oh, I like yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. But then, some, you know, sometimes you do a video and you're like, uh, that was too easy. I mean, I don't do poetry to make money. No. And I think a lot of people are always, like... People who don't always take art seriously, they're like, oh, you know, you don't make much money, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's not about money. It's yeah. about enjoy- It's my hobby. It's about creating. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Thanks. That's it, right? We're done? I think that's we're done. <laughs> that we've done, like, we've done we've fucking... We've done, like, an hour. An hour and 13. That's a, g- that's a good podcast. That's pod. a good podcast. Guys, uh, Go, what should I link? What, my tags? Yes. Um, I've got two Instagram accounts. If you like poetry, there's support your local poet. Or, if you don't like poetry, and you like um, buildings or my face, then there is Jasmine, J-A-Z. Buildings? Wait, sorry. I love buildings. Wait, oh, you take photographs of buildings? I love buildings. Holy shit. There's a couple around here. I like brutalism. That sounds violent. <laughs> no. Brutalism yeah. is... I'll show you. Okay, we're still... Okay, we're we're right. continuing. I'll show you. you. Give, what, what do you give up? It's um, it's like concrete buildings. Oh. Oh, the buildings. Mm. I thought you were talking about like, but you know, you're going to box me or something. Like concrete. So, uh, yeah. So Jasmine's showing me images of buildings. It, that, yeah. My friend actually takes images like this as well. Hey. Um, his name is Thomas. Thomas. Th- Thomas Mammoth. He's in. A, he's Don't you know you wouldn't know him. He's from America. Oh shit! Yeah, I remember actually seeing that one. Yeah, so that's, that's cool. um. I know Goldfinger, great architect. I took a picture of a building. Oh, that's like that one looks like a robot. Can I show oh, yeah. you? That one looks like a robot. Hang on, let me turn the brightness down. Or you can do that. I can turn my brightness up. Ah. Uh. The fuck! The fuck are you doing? It's like a robot. Do you think like there's an arm there and then the head? Pretty cool. It's awesome. Did you think that when you took the picture? It looks like a robot. Yeah, I mean, I like I like buildings that look. They're like made out of concrete, but they've got they've got so much structure to them. Like they don't just look like a building. They've they just look really weird. Uh, yeah. I like uh I like taking photographs of people in public. I like um. I don't know if that's illegal or not. It's legal, but. Not many people m- know it, so that's why, like I mentioned earlier, the police... I, I, we didn't actually say it on the pod, but yeah, the police... We was talking about it. <laughs> yeah. I, I do like going around and taking pictures, and some people are like, oh, great, and some people are like, what the fuck is that about? But I I don't know. I, I do like I do like it. It does See, make people I don't uncomfortable. See, I don't take photos of people, but I write poems about people. <laughs> yeah. We all got to talk about people in some way, whether it's photos I've got or... lots of poems in the new book about people. And my favourite place to write is Weatherspoons. Because there's people around? Oh, there's some characters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. There's going to be, like, beer stains all over your new book. Yeah. Well, fuck you. Th- thanks for... <laughs> thanks fuck, for watching. Just fuck off. I'm going to link some shit. Maybe by the time this is up, Jasmine's new book might be out. And then maybe buy that. Yeah. S- instead I of the old one. Because at the end of the day, a writer needs to eat. You th- we'll just drink coffee, maybe. I know, because I can't afford food. So buy my book and maybe I'll be able to eat. 
Maybe eat a burger. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,